Hey everyone, welcome back to the NPTE podcast. This is Will Crane, your host. Thank you so much for joining me as we go through the content you need in order to not just pass the NPTE, but get the score that you absolutely deserve. And so I'm appreciative of you for being here on this journey with me. And we're excited to go through this episode. This is all about the genitourinary system, a little differential diagnosis. But before we get to that, just a reminder, be sure to check out ptfinalexam.com slash podcast. So there was a special giveaway that I had in our 100th episode. Uh, be sure to head over to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast to take advantage of that free giveaway, giving away over 150 practice questions. You're welcome to download those, use those as you wish in your studies. And uh, just of note, that will be there for just a limited time. So be sure to head over and subscribe at ptfinalexam.com slash podcast. Also check out ptfinalexam.com for all of your NPTE needs. We really do have a course that fits just about everybody. We've got a crash course, which is like cramming, but better. We go through three weeks worth of content. Uh, we've got a full VIP class if you need a very robust course to take you through all of the content on the exam. Plus we've got our premium course, the premium course. This is one where you get kind of a hybrid model. You get a mentored, mentored breakdown of the sections on the exam. You get a lot of pre-recorded material where you can take it at your own pace, and that includes uh, access to the crash course as well. So we've got everything to fit, uh, really something to fit everyone's needs. Be sure to check out ptfinalexam.com for all of your NPTE needs. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and go through our practice question today. Again, this one is related to the genital urinary system. As we recall, there's just a handful of questions on, a, on the genital urinary system, about four to seven questions here. So definitely something, as I always like to say, you need to, to study proportionately, meaning that you're studying the big three systems most of the time. But that being said, don't forget about these other systems. And so that's why we're here to go through each of these just a little bit at a time. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and go through our practice question. Here we go. As per our usual, I'll read it to you, give you a moment to respond, and then we'll talk through it. Signs and symptoms of a lower urinary tract infection include urinary urgency and which of the following groupings of characteristics? One, dull flank pain, hematuria, hyperesthesia of the T10 dermatome. Two, hematuria, pyuria, low back pain. Three, pruritus, ipsilateral shoulder pain, nocturia. And finally, four, vaginal bleeding, difficulty voiding, proteinuria. So again, one more time, signs and symptoms of a lower urinary tract infection include urinary urgency and which of the following groupings of characteristics? One, dull flank pain, hematuria, hyperesthesia of T10. Two, hematuria, pyuria, and low back pain. Three, pruritus, ipsilateral shoulder pain, nocturia. And four, vaginal bleeding, difficulty voiding, proteinuria. Well, the correct answer, as you might guess, is option two, which includes hematuria, pyuria, and low back pain. So as you consider what the manifestations of a lower urinary tract infection looks like, you would expect things like low back pain, uh, urinary frequency, urgency, dysuria, hematuria, pyuria, bacteriuria, and dyspareunia. Those are all, uh, maybe we should go through each of those terms just very briefly. But urinary frequency and urgency, meaning that you have to go and you have to go a lot. Low back pain, what happens as you get a, low, a lower urinary tract infection in the bladder or urethra is that you get pain in the low back as well as in the groin and medial thigh regions. Dysuria, meaning painful urination. Hematuria, meaning blood in the urine. Pyuria, indicating that you have white blood cells in the urine. Bacteriuria, which is where you have bacteria in the urine, and then dyspareunia, where you have pain with intercourse just because of the inflammation and infectious process that's occurring in the lower urinary tract. So as you consider all of these symptoms, uh, these are the, the classic symptoms of a lower urinary tract infection. These other ones, uh, including dull flank pain, hematuria, and hyperesthesia of T10, that would be in the case of a renal calculus or some type of renal infection. And then pruritus, ipsilateral shoulder pain, nocturia, again, a sign of either a ureter or kidney infection, nocturia indicating night urination or frequent night urination, and the ipsilateral shoulder pain, and pruritus just means very itchy. 
Uh, vaginal bleeding is obviously somewhat unrelated, certainly to the to the genito to the genito urinary system, to the genital side of the urinary system. Uh, difficulty voiding and proteinuria. All these would be signs of of usually some type of prostatitis, or in the in the case of vaginal bleeding, some type of of cervical cancer. Difficulty voiding associated with that. So, bottom line. Lower urinary tract infections typically have hematuria and pyuria, so blood, red blood cells and white blood cells in the urine, combined with low back pain and groin pain. So there you go, a little question about differential diagnosis of the genitourinary system. Remember, there's only four to seven questions here, so a handful of questions, but definitely something worth spending a little bit of time on. Be sure to check out ptfinalexam.com for all of your NPTE needs. We have solutions for PTs and PTAs. Uh, if you're a school or class representative, be sure to check out all of our university offerings. We offer some pretty sweet group discounts for our courses. Plus, we see some pretty significant pass rate increases every time we get involved in a university cohort. So be sure to check that out. Please reach out if you have any questions. You can head, head over to and find us at ptfinalexam.com. And certainly in the meantime, if you haven't already, please take a moment to leave us a five-star review. It really helps as we're trying to get the word out. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Wilkrain fist pumps all around. Happy studying. Talk to you soon.